So we're back on the Mana Symbol channel, playing a little bit of Teamer White Wilderness Reclamation. So we just got absolutely rinsed um, playing Vant Reclamation. Um, I It was a brutal, brutal league um, with just some unbelievable bad variants. That said, this stack actually has a proactive play on turn two, other than Growth Spiral, which is Ren and Six. Love me, Ren and Six. One of the just most powerful cards in modern, uh, great against uh, any other blue control deck, um, and just a powerful, powerful win condition, value engine, etc. We're also playing four Snapcaster Mage and three Wilderness Reclamation, alongside Cryptic Command, Memory Deluge, Shark Typhoon, Nexus, Archmage's Charms, Fire Ice for interaction. So, um, huge fan of all that. And then we're splashing white in the sideboard. Um, so we get Wear Tear uh, out of uh, white red. So this is really, really good for beating up on Hammer Time, but also, you know, other Saga decks or anything with um, disruptive artifacts or Enchantress, I guess. <laughs> we got Aethergust, helpful against Titan, um, but also Blood Moon, which could be concerned with the way our mana base is built. We got Flosser Storm for Cascade decks, uh, but also can be in control matchups as well. Path to Exile is almost specifically for um, Murktide region, I would assume, although there, I guess there's other places you could have it in. Path to Exile is also really nice when you're playing um, Snapcaster Mage already. Um, you can really put uh, the Titan deck in the ground, just exile all their Titans, exile all their Dryads, or even just destroy the Dryads, and uh, sometimes they can't play through that. So... Let's try this one out. Uh, we have had <laughs> some very, very rough luck, uh, but maybe maybe we'll turn it around with Teamer White. Where's the hull breaker? No real deck without it. Mm. I do love one hull breaker. Honestly, I think these decks are just playing um, Nexus kind of instead of it. The, that last turn of that last league, where I went Force of Vigor, uh, I was with you, Kaya, but I was not paying enough attention. I did not realize that you were trophying with Hammer. I was watching Choke. That's what I was watching. Which was not as good as Fight Club for a lot of different reasons. I feel like we want a way for Delirium to play on Holy Heat over Bolt. Yeah, I do that in some of my teamer, um, my teamer decks. Valcanius, Valcanius. Uh, I do that in some of my teamer decks by playing Dress Down. That usually gets you there. Um. So no fetch land. How many do we have? Like 10? Uh, 4, 8. Only 8 in my Ren and 6? I guess it's only 3 Ren and 6 in this deck. I have enough cheap interaction though, and they're on Luris, so let's go. Pink Al Pink. Yeah, as a hammer player. Okay. Oof. Double oof. Alright, well, we've got fire. We got fire. All right. Jesus, slow down, opponent. Stop, stop, stop making me feel like I'm already dead. Why open up the deck to graveyard hate? Well, I mean, playing unholy heat doesn't open you up to graveyard hate. Unholy heat as a shock, if your opponent bothered to hit you with graveyard hate, is like, it's fine. Yeah, it's definitely uh, super, super fun. So, I want this to get me Steam Vents, so we're probably just shocking this and shocking this. Well, they don't have the Nuts here, Mord, because they didn't have a Cigar to Zaid. So, not actually, it's not officially the Nuts yet. 
and I'm not I'm not trying to um actually you like it's it's really it's a big deal that they don't have an aid or anything. We shocked that kill the sentinel. No shadowless. That that's not how any of that works. But now I mm, maybe I was supposed to play the fire ice, let them draw a card so that I could play Ren and Six with uh bolt up. Yeah, I should have thought about that more carefully. I can't kill the confidant now. I mean I can, but I might lose because of it. I just have to let them draw, huh? Yes, I'm telling you that Spreading Seas isn't a two-mana race that draws a card. That's exactly what I'm telling you. That's just not how any of that works. Alright, we gotta let him draw off the Dark Confidant, unfortunately. Uh, make way for Willy! I said make way for Willy, you bloated gusbug! Are you telling me my random loose take isn't correct? But yes. Uh, also, Mord, it's not an instant. Erase is an instant, right? Just give like a hundred percent sure it is. Ooh, also, uh. Or is the legacy? My bad. <laughs> Why you get C's back? What do you mean? What you don't get the C's back. It goes to your graveyard. It dies. You don't get it back. Unless you're saying the people who play C's always draw a second C's when they play it. Then I, I don't know. That's just variance. You read it on Reddit. Got it, got it. No, that's not that's not true. It is not a thing that happens. Nothing like that happens. That's just some made up nonsense, or it might be people just being salty. Very good, Kai, though. Still, still excellent. Someone's cheating at FNM. I've seen it. It's not cheating to make a mistake, by the way. Just so we're clear. I've, I've been over this many a time, but it is not cheating to make a mistake. They put in plating. Okay. God, I love Fire Ice. <laughs> Kappa just didn't tell. Well, Kipo. Ooh. Apparently, Fire Ice also loves me. It was a joke. I, I, I did eventually get that it was a joke. So knowing when people cheat on FNM, what are they trying to gain? It's just something about their ego can't take the idea of losing. Even at an FNM. Don't ask me why! Sorcery Speed Aura Blast, then. I have no idea what Aura Blast is. It resolves. See what they attack with and where. They have two cards in hand. One of them is a hammer, right? Not necessarily.
Would you like to try to kill me, opponent? They would. You've literally had to DQ people for cheating at FNM. I've never had to DQ anyone for cheating. I've seen a lot of people make really stupid mistakes that definitely could look like cheating. Um, hold on, I need to let this enter. And the way I ended up playing this turn played around the Ink Moth and the Hammers. Just if anyone was unclear about some of the sequencing, uh, that was a danger. <laughs> like getting banned from your. Well, I mean, I mean, I I've told this story before. Um, what one of the best DQs I've ever had to do in terms of the paperwork was the one where the person left the the store. Um, but it was the worst DQ I've ever, ever had to do. Why didn't you just counter tap on the cast? Because they could have booted up the Ink Moth and had a land drop and had the hammer. Um, thanks, Boosh. You can add that command if you want. Um, sorry, there there was an assault at a pre-release. The player assaulted his opponent, and uh, that was uh, that was the the least fun, but the easiest DQ ever because he left. He he left the venue. He just he kind of realized like the police were being called. So <laughs> I think he he read the runes or whatever. Man for the hills, basically. <laughs> well, like, luckily I worked in a downtown store that was used to things like that happening. Um, like, theft and assault and things where we had to call the police, so... I'm just saying, Boosh, like, it is nice that, like, the store owners weren't like, what, 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 do, what do we do? They were like, don't worry, I got this shit on speed dial. Are the cops called? Because there was an assault. Dude physically attacked his opponent. The dude was, like, a mid-30, like, bear-sized guy. His opponent was, like, a 17-year-old. Did they catch the guy? They did not. He was he was far gone, but he was uh he was banned from every LGS in the uh in the area because I was in with the the TOs. No, it's it's okay, Stokey. No worries. It's it, it actually is a really really great store because I I worked at it. It was it was the LGS where I worked. It's a great store. It was just like it's in a downtown area. And like, um, most of what they have to call the cops for is is theft. Um, there's there's homeless people around, and again, I'm not trying to be you know just like blanket comment on on how tough that is, but it's just like it's just a thing that happens. People will come into that store and they try to steal stuff. Um, Well, it's it's easy when you have their name, Vija, and everyone like everyone knows who they are. Like it's not like it was just such a weird situation. It was freaking it was a freaking pre-release. Uh we can cut down on shark typhoons. I don't I don't know if we're supposed to have paths in here. It feels like I have a lot of stuff already, but maybe I just don't need any shark typhoons. Just bring in the paths and just like burn them to the ground with removal. Scorched Earth.
That's exactly what you should do in that situation, Badagaboosh. That's exactly what you should do in that situation. We don't, we don't need the cryptics. So I actually need to make sure I can win the game. It, well, I mean, not every judge is going to be great at dealing with, like, that volatile and intense of a situation. Like, that's, I mean, we're, we're just human. Yeah, that, that is tough. Whereas in the case of my situation, I took, uh, my, my priority personally, because the store owners were really good and they were able to, you know, they were like, don't worry, we're calling the police, we got this, this part covered. So I just took the kid into the back room and, and made sure that they were okay and uh they actually got back to the event and completed it so they weren't terribly injured like it was it was more about the shock and the intimidation than anything else like they they weren't injured at all sorry i i phrased that badly they were not at all injured all right i have no idea if this is exactly how i should sideboard but that's how i did it well, I don't have any red mana, and I don't have any white mana in this hand, so keep. <laughs> well, I don't have any red mana, and I don't have any white mana in this hand, so keep. All right. So th this deck, by the way, as, as I was saying, or as I was a little bit horrified to realize early in this league... Um... uh what should be playing 10 fetches not eight just assault but no gbh charge grievous bodily harm i assume so i i never actually got a follow-up because like the kid had to press the charges and they needed to actually like call i it's not enough of like i followed up from the judge side of things and from the tournament organizer side of things and made sure that that person was banned from every store in Toronto that I had contact with. Um, so. Baby Jacob. Doo, 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 doo. Why is downtown not a good spot in Toronto? Not the whole of downtown, just the one area. There's just certain areas where there's just sort of more of uh Okay. Do I know who it was? Yeah, I I, I yes. Sorry, I don't know. There, there's a bunch of conversations going on now, and I don't know which of them are directed at me or not. They took the Renin Six, which is really annoying, because this is going to be the, the hammer time... Uh, this is going to be the kind of hammer time match I was talking about, where they just, like... They, now they have the hammer, they have the cigar to Zane, they just never need to cast it. Yeah, si similar issues are not uncommon in urban areas, exactly. Like, this, this is just a thing. Like... It's not that the store is, like, super unsafe. It's not even that the area is super unsafe. It's just, like, it definitely has... It's less safe than, like, I don't know, the where I grew up in Toronto, for example. It's also right next to the University of Toronto campus, so it's not like... Yeah, there are less than great areas of downtown Toronto. As with any major city, you're doxing yourself. Everyone knows who, who I am and where I live. It's not hard to find out. I don't even live there anymore in, in Toronto at the moment, so I'm not doxing myself at all in any way.
No, wait, because then they could put this hammer where they... You know what? We're, we're probably just dead this game because I couldn't find the land. Yeah, all right, I screwed that up. But we were on the mold of five, and they took my red and six, which was really my only chance there. I think my sideboarding is fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know if I even want three counter spells, but I don't feel like there's anything particularly better to grab. Don't you dare thought seize me on one. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Mike. Uh, does that answer your question? Is it the deck or is it me? Uh in the in the case of the last one, it was just like just truly horrendous variants. Cause we went and looked at the list afterwards and like all the issues we were having, like they weren't like um what do I want to say, like structural problems. It's just it just happens sometimes that just like everything goes awful and you lose. Magic is is a cruel game sometimes. They have two hammers in hand. MTG is a cruel mistress. Kind of sexy, though. She's got this, like, hot nerd thing going. I'm into it. Not that one. Well, yes, Shadowless, but, like, it shouldn't have happened anywhere near as much as it did, right? So, like, technically there were some small problems, in theory, um, but, like, not on the level that 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 league showed. Right? Is that is that enough words? Have I have I rambled enough? Are you happy now? Like Yes, that was a problem. Yes, we could fix it, but then the gross powers were also there to be green cards for your pitch cards. So it's difficult for me to just be like, hey, yeah, that's definitely something you need to change. Is this resolving? It's resolving. No, I never did. I never counted that as a three land hand. I was trying to mold to actual three land hands and we just couldn't find them. It just did 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 not happen. People who were here, please like comment on like that it wasn't <laughs> The League was a horrifying abomination. No, I know, but like you're just saying the same things over and over again that aren't true or I don't know, particularly accurate or useful. Yeah, the opening hands were just all awful for no good reason that we could math out. Like, they shouldn't have been that bad. I should have had to mult to six from time to time, but not to five constantly and still get color screwed. Okay, so the lack of double white here is really being problematic. Um... If I tear this, they just go double hammer. Yeah, 
By the way, there's a new emote, y'all. It's it's really good. There's there's nothing I can do to stop them from drawing two cards if they choose to. I could have just played Memory Deluge, then they could flash in both hammers. God, this is so brutal. This is what I'm talking about. Like These are the kind of hammer draws that I think are more egregious than when they kill you on turn two. These feel a lot more hopeless most of the time. This is the reason it's much, much, much better than Infect. Because then even after all this, they still have Sagas. They still have more and more and more stuff. Yeah, I, I, well, because they just drew two cards. Like, imagine if, if if Infect had cards that were like, oh yeah, now when I play pump spells, I draw cards. It's like, oh. Did Urza make a top eight? Awesome. Good job, friend. Nile Spellbomb. Man, it's so brutal. Uh, kill that hammer now? With snap? Yeah. And then I have... Path. That shock path. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Oh, fuck, man. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is so savage. <laughs> this is this is this has just been the last many days, though. It's like every time something like that comes up where it's like, well, this is tough, but it's it's not too bad. And then they're like, yeah, it's 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 awful. <laughs> Everything's awful and you'll lose. Good storm count, though. Well, and they drew two cards off the hammer because they... Yes, at least it's not red-black X, I guess, but... There's the saga. I, I just need to play a deck that's playing um, Blood Moon right now if I want to play blue cards, I think. It, it seems to be the only way you can kind of keep up with the format. You have to cheat. You can't just play fair. They're just going to hold the Nile Spellbomb forever until, uh... Oh, shit. No, no. Okay. Wants to cheat? Okay. I... Oh, that's a bad sign. Good draw. Main deck moon and rhinos. Well, I don't think that's true. Rhinos is just a—it's just a very, very powerful deck. The the more difficult thing to do right now in modern. Oh shit! They have two creatures in the cigar. We're dead no matter what we do now if they play it right and if they have like. Uh, Stoneforge in hand, which I assume is what they have from how they were tapping.
The sad thing is, like, uh, okay. I feel like I should have died here. Oh, get Luris, play Luris? Into nothing? Okay, I mean, I suppose you could. Nope. What? Is that... Is that an actual... I... I'm... If I turn up my stream any louder, I'm peeking. So... I can't turn things up from my side. Oh, cool, Rock Stacker Stan. I, I, I did love the look of the... The stuff you put on stream the other day. Maybe we can get them to pop their spell bomb. Probably not, huh? Oh, you're probably right, Mino Maniac. Well, I just... I, I can't turn it up, Vija. I, I literally can't turn it up. Hey, Rapha, coming from YouTube. It's a good, it's a good place with good people. Oh, they they have the hammer coming. Oh, we're we're just dead. We we have nothing. They 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 just destroyed us that game. All of our removal just didn't. Uh, it just didn't uh, just didn't line up well enough. Well, just like I I can't. I can't turn up my stuff without it peaking, which means it's going to start distorting, which means for other people, it's going to be way too loud. So I just don't, yeah, I, I just don't know if that's a real comment or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could you could get yeah yeah I I get that you could get a volume booster extension or something like that like um VLC the the media player uh, it can go over a hundred percent versus a lot of other ones probably because you have to go and in independently download like I don't think iTunes legally would be allowed to uh, offer the ability to turn up itself louder than it can they don't want to encourage hearing damage. If I can keep this hand. Because of the fire ice. Lands control. I want more lands. It's going to be Belcher, by the way. But if it is control, this hand is nuts. Maybe I should have went, gotten more keep on this and, uh, and bought him the, the island. Seen streamers use it mostly because it's easier to manage a thousand tabs. I mean, I have a volume mixer right here that shows me what everything's doing, right? So, like, this is my voice, and when I get more energetic, it's popping up into this yellow region, and you do not want it to go into the red zone. Um, whereas the music's hanging out down here. I can keep an eye on that. Um, the soundboard plays through That's so desktop. It's a little bit louder. Same with the... No, I... I understand what you're saying, Vija. I'm just saying, like, I don't know why I would need something like that. Because I can already manage everything. But they probably don't have the um, voice meter going. So here's the inputs. Uh, except for the microphone. This is, this is my digital soundboard. Oh, it's Elementals. Yeah, we're going to be against elementals here. When do you play that so ratchet on the soundboard? Well, obviously when you have ratchet bomb. That's so ratchet. It's so hard when different streams have so different volumes. I mean, no, you just just take the volume slider, Kbird Smash. Here comes the Skelemental. Not on turn two. I don't think they can turn to it here. 
I guess they could put in like insolent neonate, sacrifice that, discard scale mental, then play Thunderkin Awakener. Yeah. And then. I hear every stream at 100%, no matter the consequences. I mean, is anyone else having problems with the sound on this channel? Because... I'm willing to try to do something about it, but, like, this is the first I've heard of anything, and it, it doesn't... Yeah, like, I, I feel like everything's at the right thing. What... You have your volume higher than normal. Okay, well, I can... I mean, I can turn it up a bit, but then... If I get, like, aggro, yeah, I don't know. People are just okay with having their system volume at 70%. I mean, I usually am. I usually run my system volume at, like, 30%. Just everything is at the level where I need to hear it, so I don't... Yeah, like, when I go back and listen to my VODs, like, everything's at the right volume. Everything's very listenable and i can even turn it down and still understand myself and hear myself so i am not sure like putting on top no i hear it is exactly the same volume as i broadcast when i look at the vod the only thing i don't hear is the music because the music isn't on the vod for obvious reasons 26 for me i can hear you over the dishwasher well you could just it looks like it, it's so hard for me to optimize it for everyone's end end point when I don't know what that looks like. They got Risen Reef on top. Okay. <laughs> Just turn down your dishwasher. Love that. So they have Vile on two? What's the scariest two drop that they have? Oh, I can't counter this, because if I counter it, they just uh, get a new trigger with Thunderkin Awakener. Thanks, Samaritan. It makes sense. I, I did put a lot more work into it than a lot of other people. think this makes sense normally i don't like yeah okay so this means they get one trigger this turn then we'll see where we end up we slow down their tempo intently <laughs> You just need to turn me up more. If you're listening to me on laptop speakers, <laughs> T-Pain. He's no Little John. Come on now. Yeah! yeah. No Pong Reef? Uh, I mean, I guess I could, but what's the point? Like, I, I, I can't, I can't remove it at, at, at all right now. So I don't. Here's the skeletal. But I get to kill the Thunderkin Awakener. And then we can ping the Risen Reef. Because these three won't kill Ren and the Six. And this is definitely attacking me. No, I, I, I get that Kbird Smash, but like, I... 
The only thing I can do, so this is my voice, and this is the loudest thing on my stream. And the only thing I could do is make this slightly louder. Otherwise, it's going to start distorting. And that's it. Then I'm, then I'm capped. Perfect. That's it. That's, that's the limit of things I could do in any way to help you right now. So... You get a 24 hours Christmas stream? Well, I'm going to be in Florida visiting my dad, so definitely not. Um, you will probably get a Christmas stream. Because I'm assuming he goes to, to bed at a the normal time for a 62-year-old. Okay, if we find one memory deluge, yeah, sure, Mord. They play Fiery Island, immediately crack it. All right, that's a good sign. Mariner? That's not dangerous. I have 18 mana next turn. <laughs> Up to and including 18 mana. Oh, good. I mean, might as well show them I mean business. <laughs> I was wrong. I had the other uh, reclamation. So we actually had uh, 24 minus, minus 4. So we had 20 mana that turn. So we, obviously we should be playing Expansion Explosion. It would literally win me the game right here. That's what I want to do, Mord. That's what I want to do. Caravex Torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or my favorite, good old-fashioned missionary-style Fireball. Yeah, we we do need we do need one that's an instant. I think torch might be an instant. <laughs> well, at least we'll pay for the mariner. That's true. Oh, for the love of fuck! Uh, am I actually dead? I'm just dead. Awesome, fucking awesome. <laughs> Great. I I do not understand today. Oh, I don't need any of these. Why are you not playing as Kanta? It's not a very good card. As Kanta, the Thunken Rune is a great card. As Kanta, uh, a search for as Kanta is not. Probably can keep that. Yeah, we drew all three reclamations last game. Again, it was just like really bad luck. Yeah, if if we play with an artifact deck, we'll just be at paired against Grixis Shadow three times. It'll be Grixis Black Red Jund again. I had that one league where I played 80 card Urza Hullbreaker, and we literally played against Grixis, Grixis, Jund, and Black Red. I, I can't remember what the last deck was. And that was like just after Vegas. Which was weird because two of the decks were Grixis, not Black Red. 
popper still a thing uh, online it certainly is yeah it just happens like sometimes you get variants this i can keep and i will keep moto keeping me humble exactly i had a really really good week generally speaking in terms of like gameplay and and brews i'm just like cursed for this weekend i'm actually glad i couldn't play the the, the challenge yesterday at this rate Second Aether Vial. Yikes. Steve's train. Thanks for the resub there, friend. We have Vesper Lark. Wow. What a matchup. Jesus. So they've got Thunderkin Awakener and Vesper Lark that they're about to draw into. So it leaves the battlefield and then, yeah, they loop it back. Prison Reef. I wouldn't call this a brew. Opponent's trying to go infinite, you guess? Really? Yeah, this is just like the old build of Elementals. Okay. Four color mid-range is a lot cooler. Well, it's also a lot less vulnerable to these getting prismatic ended. There's an old build of ele elementals. There's several. So this is the Thunderkin Awakener. I have to let it come in and trigger the Risen Reef. Because killing the Risen Reef doesn't do anything because then they attack with the Thunderkin Awakener and pick it back up again. That that it, this I'm playing against the aggressive version of these decks. Yes, that is... I mean, it's a joke, but it's not a joke.
Well, it doesn't because they don't actually. Well, they hit it. With, they hit us with it last last game, so they they definitely have it. Um. So if I kill the Thunderkin now, it's in their graveyard. They could evoke the Esper Lark next turn to try to get it back. And we endurance them. They could just Aether Violet in. God, this is this is so difficult. Where did the Thundercan trigger go? Nowhere. There's no target. This is their revealed. So I know they have a Vesper Lark, but there's nothing in their graveyard. I think we we kill the Thunderkin now and just see what we end up with, but not not sure what. I don't know if we can win this at all. Like just just all the value triggers, and I can't I, I can't stop them from doing like a certain number of, like amount of stuff because like again we're just playing too fair. Oh god damn it! And they're also playing the good cards. <laughs> Oh my god. Last game we could have had it, but... Was it last game? Was that the... Yeah, last game we could have had it, but we just couldn't draw anything. Risen Reef is as close as this fair deck gets to broken. Their deck? Their deck is playing a lot more broken stuff than we are. We're, 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 we play pay mana for, like, all our card draw. Like, they get a bunch of, like, free stuff here... No, I mean, they're not... So, the, the point is, the way their synergy comes together, we just can't fight it. Like, I just... I can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with what their deck's actually putting out. Is it everything... It's like... It's the classic problem of playing a control deck against elementals. Like, you... you the, everything they have is drawing cards. And you can't deal with it. Because of the axes on which they're, like, putting things out. Like, I can't kill the Risen Reef in response to this, or even Aether Gust it. They have a second Thunderkin. Oh. And like any time they draw something like that, it's like, oh, it's over. Like I, I put in all this work to try to put myself in a position where I can, you know, deal with one piece. And they're just like, but I have a second one. It's like, oh, well. But it's not even just one for one. They have a huge mana advantage because they they're casting one, two, three, four, five. And then like easily, easily like nine... Nine mana of stuff. I can't assault my opponent, Vija. I don't know who they are or where they are. Through this digital medium, we're off it. I, I can't hit my lands and we're just buried. What? What a league. 07 on the day. <laughs> I guess I should have boarded in the wear tears just for either while. But there's no guarantee we would have seen them, so... That's awesome, Kaya. I'm I'm very happy for you. At least we're playing cards this league. We played lots of cards last league. We died anyway. On the last turn of the last league, I I destroyed two of their permanents, exiled another one of their permanents, and they just played through no problem because they had a, the piece of redundancy that they needed. We're just not able to do anything with these reactive decks right now. Seems to be. Another Loris. Fidelia, I believe, with an F. But I could be wrong. Yeah, Fidelio's an opera. 
Turn one, Ren gets Thoughtseize? Sure. Uh, I'm taking that chance. This, this is the second time, by the way. Someone says, I love your YouTube channel at the beginning of the league. You guys don't see that. This is the second time that someone's going to say, hey, I love your YouTube channel. Lay in Thoughtsies. Okay. Let's burn. It's good. At least we're going to die to something different now that I'm horribly underprepared for. They missed the attack. It's it's not going to be good enough. I guarantee this mistake is we're still going to get crushed. Oh, look. Jen and I is replacing Alex. I guess someone had to do it. You've been trying now. <laughs> Bad conclusion. There we go. Now we got the championship posting. You know the thing is oh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're we're almost definitely gonna die, right? Um should I ice the dread horde? No, we should kill the Swift Spear, right? Because, like, they won't have a second one, right? Okay. Yeah, oh, no! <laughs> the flavor text! The flavor text! <laughs> They're gonna draw two cards this turn. Oh no! The grind. God, we're so dead next turn. I'm so dead. Oh my god. At least it wasn't the one that gives haste. I guess. So I'm going to fetch Shock here, and if they have another Mutagenic Growth, we're dead anyway. But I think this is the way to go, 10 out of 10. All right, if we make it through this turn, if we make it through this turn, we're probably maybe okay. Tap land's a good sign. Ready for Hazel Rage? I'm ready. What's the one where non-flying creatures can't block? What's that one? Oh, this about Manamorphose. Yup. Ground Rift? Is that the card? Ground Rift sounds right. Oh, I'm aware, Red Seven. I'm very aware. Jesus. Second Mana Warfos? Alright, six. Bolt does it. Oh my god! Of course they're going for it. Why would they not go for it? Would it have been better to kill the Lumomancer with a bolt? Maybe. Don't die. That's the, that's the dream. <laughs> Looks like we made it. But...
I haven't seen a single burnt spell out of them yet. I'm sure they're I'm sure they're just lurking. We've also seen haste creatures, so cryptic command maybe about to be a poke jump. I mean, they're flooded. They have more lands than I do. All right. <laughs> Actual kiln fiend, yes. Tax for zero. Okay, good, good. Connects for zero. Good, good. I see. Well played. Right. Bolt. Darren Lurus. You, I mean, you gotta attack for the zero. You, you gotta do the respect attack. I love the respect attack. You're just letting your opponent know that you know what's up. Mm. Perfect. Draw with ultimate poke champ. <laughs> but what about two kiln fiends? What then, nerd? Lurisant, there it is. Oh my god, they flooded so badly. Am I the bad guy in this matchup? Probably. The evil empire. Okay. Two snaps on top. Deal. Like, at this point, I'm convinced they're just, like, not playing Lavadar. Oh, they tried. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm definitely the bad guy here, right? Evil always finds a way. I guess so. I never played Overlord. Played Pit Lord. What uh, what kind of game is the Carrion Lich? Overlord, huh? Never even heard of it, so. Direct a horde of goblins and solve puzzles. That does sound fun. Let me show you how Burn Deck plays, opponent. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just realized I could have done it the other way around. Yeah. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I could have killed him this turn. It's fine. We'll get there anyway. But yes, I could have just gone Bolt, Bolt. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, bolt with Remblem, Bolt with Remblem, then Flashback was the line. That was the line. Just, just so we're all clear, now that I'm looking at it in retrospect, I'm not talking about Overlord. So, that, so here's the problem, and this is something you're going to get on my stream all the time. I am way, way too good, and I'm, by, by too good I mean I can't ignore chat for the sake of the game. I can't do it. I can't do it, and I won't do it. Like, I... Not that I'm unwilling to do it, I'm just saying, like, it's not going to happen. Like, I, I know me. Um... I never, ever, ever focus on the gameplay over any time anyone interacts with me in chat. Um, just so we know. Like, so so that that's what you're going to get here. That's what you're in for. If you're okay with that, we're going to have a good time. It's it is it is impossible for me to focus on the gameplay without with 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 chat to interact with. It's just not possible. I can't do it. I just I'm just like colossally bad at it. Yeah, I, I'm sure I had a million ways to have lethal there. I just was like petrified to tap down at any moment. I'm sure it was possible to do it uh without sacrificing the ability to have some kind of interaction up. Um but I I was like just because we never saw a bolt that game doesn't mean uh, that they they wouldn't have it at the last possible moment there. <laughs> it's true, Dave Mora. No, it's just like, it's just like something I need to like call attention to from time to time just to like make myself feel better, I guess. Oh, I don't want counter spells here, actually. So we can keep more of these. Well, and also, like, to that whole rest of that game, right? Like, even without the Remblem, right? I was just, like, I, I just could have kept casting Memory Deluges 
and I wasn't I wasn't able to play anything. Can we still creature and kill them with it? Yeah, probably. Should I have Bluster Storm? Potentially. Yeah. Shave a snap. Shave the wilderness back. I have to be back in one second. Well, also, Mord plays the right kind of decks to play against Ren and Six Emblems, right? Whereas our opponent's deck in that situation, assuming that they don't have Burn in their deck, they were they were doomed. Um, if they do have some amount of Burn in their deck, then theoretically they could have won, but... They also, like, aggressively blew the first mutagenic growth they had. Which was silly. For lack of a better term. See how big they go. Scale up, yeah. They wouldn't think Twiddle would be a fun card in Modern. I'm thinking Twiddle would be fun.
I too would like to draw a card from my interaction opponent. I too would like to draw cards from my interaction. <laughs> Dude. Oh, danger. Yeah, we'll see what they do pre-combat and then Probably go snap ice the dreadhorde. See. Ready for no more fire ice bug, huh? Woo! Good draw. This is for Luris. Let me guess the Dreadhorde. Fire now. I don't have enough mana. Right, we'll just block the Killing Fiend, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> It's funny in this deck to have situations where you're like, what do you mean I don't have enough mana to do it all? What do you mean? Bling! Okay. I did. I did ask for burn spells. Uh, I'll take your four. I can't play the Luris right now. I did ask for burn spells. <laughs>
Last card's a pump. So they didn't play. Or another fling. Is it another fling? Oh, larynx. It's another fling. I'll take four. Oh, larynx, the little little ice block roo. Seven, not four. Uh, that's not how that works. How am I doing today? I'm doing all right, Scarlet. Uh, our win record. Not good. I took seven damage. I shouldn't have. I, I should not have. Four plus four. I took four attack damage. And then I took four damage from the fling. Any hard casters in the chat? <clears throat> I know you're there. Don't lie to me. Screw that. No <laughs> more. Never. Never. You are the chosen one. All right, Mord. You live in your fantasy world, Mord, where it's never correct to hardcast Shark Typhoon. Oh, Scarlet, not only can you do that, someone's top 32 a challenge with that. Yeah, Neoform Affinity, a 10-10 would be better. I disagree. Which is why I did the thing that I did. Would it be more fun exactly? Yeah, yeah, Gristlebrand is also an option. And now I Aether Gust my own lightning bolt. We got our first W against Naya Prowess. Yeah, you can have up to 12 seven drop creatures to turn into Crater Hoof or Gristlebrand. Uh, I think the most successful versions were just playing two, uh, two Crater Hoofs. Yeah, it's, it's a win. 2 0 sweep, baby. We finally got a dub. We're finally on the dubs, not subs train. Holy lit. I love that. That's great. Oh, mulling against the Lyris deck always feels good. Okay. Oh, good. It's hammer time. Oh, 
Hmm? Oh, very good. Well, I guess I'll take the, the tempo blowout of fire, give you two, two for two. Like, I kind of have to. It's not getting better. Not getting better. Need to draw a bolt. Natural land drop would have been very acceptable. Uh, oh, I'm just dead. Because they didn't leave up the fire ice, but we were going to lose anyway to what they had. No, we were we were we were now dead, Mord. We were now dead. Yeah. Yet another match where the game was over in less than a minute. And we can't find reasonable hands all day long. It's still bad. This is still bad. How is it still bad? <laughs> Unreal. Uh, the perfect opener yet again on their seven. Love to see it. I guess I should have played the Tarn so I could get the Raugren Triome if I wasn't forced to take action this turn. Okay, I can't kill both of your creatures. Now I'm ported forever. Hooray. I swear as well, the quality of the Hammer Time players has just like gone up by such a ludicrous amount. Like nobody ever, it seems like nobody ever makes any kind of questionable play anymore. So it's just like really good hands, really tight play. They didn't even attack there. They didn't even attack there. I could Snapcaster Mage and then have Path to Exiles back up. Nope. Nah. I haven't seen too many Yogg players. I think that comes with the deck. I'm not sure what that means. Everything here is awful. Again. I guess steel is the play. None of this is good, but like Maybe this is something.
I mean, I agree with you, Scarlet, but I also have had a not, I don't know, I don't, I haven't had the same experience with Hammer Time. When I play Hammer Time, it's like everyone just rinses me. They're just like completely ready for my hand. It's like if I have a fast play to the board hand, I get furied. If I try to play through whatever, I get wrath, like off the Teferi. It's just like going to be a juicy steal. We'll see. Yeah, everyone's ready for hammer. I, I, that's my feeling. It's like you don't, you don't, you don't gain points by playing hammer. You lose points. Well, of course, it could still win. It's got a crazy, um, crazy ceiling. Floor both. Yeah, it's a, that that's the other thing is like being ready for hammer just doesn't matter most of the time because they just beat you. Like it, there's no hate card that actually beats them properly. Like you need like chalice and st like there's you could just no matter what you think of, there's a way that hammer plays through whatever you're thinking that you can do to them. Like Stony Silence is the classic example because they have Cigarette's Aid. Um Chalice is another example, but they have um both uh Urza Saga and um stoneforge mystic like they just play through everything the deck is capable of playing through anything post combat pure steel 100 percent, 100 percent. every time they have everything every time today it's unreal i uh, i don't get it I don't fucking get it, dude. They have everything every time recently when I play against them. All right, I'm done. I'm so far behind again. It's like, even though I positioned myself reasonably, they weren't even close to being out of resources. They had so much gas left. It's crazy. Man, it's like, this has just been such a brutal day. One and eight. I feel like even Force of Vigor that game, unless it was like in some specific spot I'm not thinking of, like wouldn't have been good enough. Was, was this not the Double Sentinel game that we just played? It was, right? I, I, I did not, Larynx. I did not do that at all. Is this still happening? Oh my god! Hey, it's, it, this has been the entire day. This has been the entire day. There's just no... There, there's just no... There's no nothing. There's just... There's... 
Do I think Grazer would help this deck? Uh, we haven't been losing to Ragavans. So... I, I've, uh, I don't, I do, well, um, also you, you just want to play Grazer in a deck that's playing like 27 lands, which this deck is not. Also that deck is playing things like Valakut and no, you shouldn't play Grazer in decks like this to fight against things like that. Why don't we ping that Chandler? Because the land drop was way more important and in order to kill my Renin six, they need to spend at least two cards. Pinging, pinging the Chandler is not always the most important thing you can do with your Renin 6. Yeah, if, if any 4-card hand is going to come back and win it, it's that one with Renin 6 and a fetch land. That's all you need. Dress down. On end step? Tell Kale hi from you? Okay. Yeah, I've I've heard people say that before. It's Chandler. Like, I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to say it. Chandler, Chandler. Like Chandler. Chandler. I think you can hear the difference. Crocs a thing in the ice. Yeah, any of those things is possible. I mean, they're on Lures. Dragon's Rage Chandler. You're saying Chandler. All right. I, I don't like that name for this card. Dragon's Rage Chandler. I mean, if I'm saying it quickly, like, you're going to hear more like Chandler. But it's Dragon's Rage Chandler. And it is never and will never be uh, Dragon's Rage's Chandler. Is that the one Spike always does? Yeah, Dragon's Rage's Chandler. No, Dra Dragon Rage's Chandler. That's the one. Fire, it's going to be unreal. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I think they, like the opponent kept a suboptimal hand. I don't know what they're playing. Dragon Raging Chandler. I don't know. I think I think the one he usually does is uh, is uh, Dragon Rages Chandler. Buddy Bing, buddy Bing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Mola 4, take it. <laughs> Easy Mola 4, exactly. Easy. Where's the... Oh, this deck doesn't have Veil. Huh. Welcome to the London Mulligan. Yeah, thank God for the London Mulligan, huh? <laughs> Ain't that the truth?
All right. We get to keep a seven with three lands in it? God damn. I'm just shocked we didn't get Thossies. Again, no no black. I don't what what is happening? Okay, so they mulled the six, but still. You should go do holiday shopping, but you have zero motivation. Eh. Nobody needs more stuff, Spider. Just go online and get them a donation to something. They'll love it. Or an iTunes gift card? Huh? It's like money. Like you're getting the money. I... I guess this is life in the... In the O or in the one three bracket. Seven cards in hand on opponent's side. In their Regavan DRC deck. <laughs> yeah. Gifted subs to the mana symbol channel. That was your Christmas present. Not to your account, to random other people's accounts. Enjoy. All right. I believe I'm winning, but I don't understand why. I remember this player playing good decks. I feel like I've definitely seen them, like, play... Like, Spire, you know who this is, or you know more about them than I do. Like, I... Th this person normally plays, like, better decks than this, right? Is their hand entirely, like, unholy heats? I don't know what's happening, but... Goes to discard. Discard's expressive iteration. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, I feel like the name Fresh Kale, I'm usually like, okay, I'm in for a good match here. I don't know. It's, I don't, it's fine. Apparently his draws were worse than mine in, in the other game. Ah, Aethergust. I could counter it, but why not just break their spirit? Okay, well, that was like a non-game, but I'll take my 50 play points, because what a day. I don't think you should play the white in the sideboard of this deck. I think it stretches the mana base too far. Uh, I don't think you should play two reflecting pools. One is fine, but two, we, we had a disaster draw. Now we've got room for two more fetch lands, which would be wooded foothills. And then... I'd probably want to play one Hall of Storm Giants here. I guess so, Spider, but like nothing was cooperating. Like it wasn't just the mana. Like he had a he had a um he had a opening with Ragavan into nothing. Literal literal nothing. Like not a, he didn't have a second threat. He didn't have to like he didn't seem to have anything. It was just nothing. So I I don't know. Anyway. Sometimes bad draws happen, right? Like, we were playing Bant, or we were playing uh, this deck, and we just had some horrendous draws that, that couldn't do anything. So maybe that happens. Um, again, this deck looks like it's got all the right pieces in all the right places, and it just was awful. It was just so, so awful through most of that league. We were, like, set up to win a couple different places, and we just couldn't do it, or we just got totally dismantled. Um, that elemental matchup was super messed up. Like, that's just, like not something that you're ever reasonably going to be able to beat, I don't think. Just because, like, everything they have 
like is draw triggers and bring stuff back from the graveyard. You don't have any like graveyard haymaker cards like um, rest in peace or leyline. You could play leyline on the sideboard. I, I don't recommend it, but you could. Uh, yeah, the reclamation decks both today. Like I was really, I really had high hopes for both of them, and I thought the Bant one was going to be better than this uh, with the solitudes in it and the the verdict, but it was awful. Um, These decks always exist in a middle spot between like blue white control and blue red merc tide. You're like not the best control deck and you're not the best like blue red tempo ish deck. You're like a more controlling tempo deck. But if you're not playing Blood Moon, I feel like you're just missing on an important element for modern right now to be able to keep up with a lot of the decks. Um, that's my feeling at the moment. Uh, we're going to play some Blue Moon in a second, but we're going to wrap this video up by saying I think the four color stuff into the sideboard was a bit much um, and this is probably going to solve some of the issues we ran into not all of them but some of them so if you're in the future watching this on the YouTube make sure you hit that like button smash that subscribe button check out any of my other videos you're interested in I will